Goodness, this place is an electric factory. Today, I have the students to my right and the teachers on my left from Chester Charter Scholars Academy in Chester, PA. And everyone just piled into the classroom and brought the greatest energy I've felt in a very long time. Students are going head to head with their favorite all time teachers, and it's winner take all. I'm giving them a check and those bragging rights, but who grabs them? We find out over the next 30 minutes. Pop quiz right now. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, what a great way to start this show. It's just a pop quiz of how much do you guys really know. Fingers are on the buzzers. Deep breath with me. Time starts now. Yosemite National Park and Alcatraz Island are both found in what U.S. state? First one in, Mr. Peeling. California. California's right. What professional athlete wrote the poem turned short film titled Dear Basketball to announce his retirement from the NBA? Donovan. Shaquille O'Neal. Incorrect for the steal. Mr. Todd. Dr. J. We were looking for Kobe Bryant. Oh. What is the sum of 25 and 28? Mr. Peeling. 53. 53 is right. Students, you can tie the game because I'm going to double the points, make this extra credit. Algorithm and Feels Like Summer are two songs of the 2020 album released by what rapper? First one in, Mr. Todd. Childish Gambino. That's going to get you to 40 points. The Jewish written law, which consists of the first five books of the Hebrew Bible or Old Testament, is more commonly known as what? Mr. Peeling. The Torah. Torah is right. What is the full name of the 2022 movie sequel that begins to tell the story of the Sully family on Pandora? Story. Avatar The Way of Water. That is what we are looking for. And that is it. How about it? Off to a great start. Teachers steamrolling their way to 50 points yeah, early. Yeah. And students, though, you had to break the ice. And Story, you did exactly that, getting you exactly where you need to be. And that's at 10 points right now. Today, it's the students and teachers from Chester Charter Scholars Academy in Delaware County. It's home of the CCSA Sabres. But I will tell you right now, this is one of the greatest group of athletes I have ever seen grace this stage. Let's meet them. Hi, my name is Denasia. I am in 11th grade and I'm ready to win. Hi, my name is Donovan Doe. I am a senior in 12th grade and I am in it to win it. Hi, my name is Story. I'm in the 10th grade and I am ready to win. Hey, my name is Mr. Todd and in my eyes, all my students are winners, but not today. Hi, I'm Mr. Peeling. I'm a social studies teacher for 11th and 12th grade, and I'm here today to show my students what I got. Hi, my name is Mrs. Curtsy. Um, I teach special education, ELA for middle school. And today, if we don't win, I'm sending all the kids to detention, the real kind. <laughs> Listen, I told you, and they delivered. Everyone can just do the story right now. That's what we're calling this new move. I'm feeling it. I like it. Listen, you guys talked. I heard you during commercial right off before we got this. You said you've never had detentions, ever? Never. Donovan, none of them were your fault, though? Yeah, no. All right, all right, no, no. I'm going to give you a chance, you guys, right now, to send these teachers to detention. Let's use it wisely. This game starts now. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points.
not great at math, but 40 plus 10 could tie this game, students. So this is a huge one for you here in detention. And you are trailing. So I'm going to give you the first category to choose whether you want to pass or play. Here it is. Good luck. Science. That's a fun Player pass. Need an answer. Oh, we'll play. You're going to play. Here you go. What is the term for a shallow water wave caused by the gravitational interactions between the sun, moon, and earth? The shallow water wave. You can talk about it. Need an answer. High tide? We were looking for a tidal wave. Oh. We were looking for the wave. So just like that, teachers, you guys, get to send one of the students. It's going to be Danasia, Donovan, or Story. First to go, who's it going to be? Uh, I think we got to get Story out of here. Let's story! Out of here. Two detention, she yes. heads over there. <laughs> first one ever? Yeah, yeah, look at that face. That's the first one ever. All right, don't worry. We're going to send somebody else your way here soon, Story. But now, teachers, we go back to you, and your category is math. <sighs> My work subject. Here you go. The, you're taking it? Oh, yeah. okay, we're doing it. Yeah, they're playing, they're playing. The Jones family is eating dinner at a restaurant. Their bill is 200. They want to leave a 20% tip. How much money are they going to tip? 20 bucks. Incorrect. We were looking for $40 on a $200 That's check. Teachers are left in shambles. Students catch a huge break here. Who's it going to be going to detention? We're going to do Mr. Peeling. Oh. Mr. Peeling, social studies teacher out of the game. Power. Join him. Uh -huh. Story. Uh -huh. Man, I love the jog out of you. We moved the category here. We are never Students, right. back to you guys. Pass or play on business. Strategy. We need an answer, guys. Pa pass or play. Yeah, we'll play. Here you go. What is the term for the legal right to an invention or a product and the profits from it for a set of period of time that also excludes others from making, using, or selling it? It's a bad one. It's a bad one. A bad one. Answer? Patent? Patent is right. Get you there. Come on, Donovan. Is it going to be Mr. Todd or Mrs. Kirksey? Story's loving it in detention right now. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Mr. Todd. Mr. Todd, out of the game, leaving Mrs. Kirksey all to herself. Unbelievable turn of events after that 20% snafu. Mrs. Kirksey, this goes back to you. Okay, huge decision here. Sports. <laughs> I'm going to pass. Oh, here we go, guys. Good luck. In 2022, President Biden awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom to what U.S. Olympic gymnast, making her the youngest recipient ever? Talk about it. You don't know? Do you want to take a guess? Need an answer. Nothing. Simone Biles is what we're going to look at that. Oh my God. And sorry. the door remains open. Here we go. Mrs. Kirksey, who are you going to send to detention? Bye, Donovan. Donovan goes. He leaves I the game. And now, Danasia. This detention round is in your hands okay. because the category now goes to you. Here we go. And it's category pop culture, pass or play. Here you go. Good luck, Mrs. Kirksey. What is the name of the limited edition Coca-Cola creation beverage released in 2022 that is reddish in color and space flavored? Oh, no. With the pass. Anything? Unbelievable! The pass wins the game! Mrs. Kirksey, the answer starlight. But that's not going to get you there. You head to detention. Students, get out quick! 
make a break for it because the nation just came from behind and won the game. You guys celebrate the round, and we got a time ball game right here in the classroom. Hey, our class is next. Let's see who does it. Woo -wee. I'm already sweating. We got a tie ball game here on the classroom. Students just won the last round. Hey, today, everybody's from Char Chester Charter Scholars Academy in Delco. It's, a, it's anybody's game, and I cannot wait to see how this finishes. So let's get to art class right now. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. It's all strategy here. Since the game is tied, we're going to start with the students. Donovan, you're a great artist at your school, but have you ever done art in five seconds or less? No. Nah, all right, today yet. is the day. Is it blue card blue. or red card that you're taking? I'll take the blue. You stand back here. You open that up. I'm going to grab a pen for you. I think, I think you're feeling good today, yeah, man. You're an unbelievable artist, and you're quick. quick. All right, that's what you're going to draw, OK? And you're going to have five seconds to do it. Your time starts now. Oh, wow. <laughs> this guy's good. What is it? Ladies, you can talk about it. There's no steals here. A stapler. That stapler is right! That is un... Look at the detail! My man got the levels of the bottom. This Donovan, well done. That was unbelievable. That's it. And he's like, yeah, that's what I do. All right, teachers, get out here. We're going to switch you up. You're going to head right over there, Donovan. Go take a seat. Grab a water. You deserve it. All right, Mrs. Kirksey, that card is yours. That was unbelievable in five seconds. That was honestly the best five-second drawing I've ever seen on the show. And you love to see it. All right, Mrs. Kirksey, you feeling that energy right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Find that it. rhythm. Five seconds starts right now. OK. OK. Let's talk about it, fellas. What are we looking at? <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Incorrect. All right, you ready? Five more seconds starts right now. Go. <laughs> she asked a question in the middle of it. Sorry. Here we go. What is it, guys? <laughs> Okay, here we go. You have 10 seconds now to finish this up. You guys only are going to have 10 seconds to talk about this and get it out there. All right. Okay. I like what she's doing here. Okay. You ready, guys? What is it? School. Is that your answer? Uh, uh, no, we're going to say that it's a... Uh, it, 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 <laughs> It's a doorway. Do you want to tell them what it was? Dell was close. CCSA, this is the gate. The oh, gate. The gate. We couldn't gate. get it the done. Gate. It looks the just gate. Mrs. Kirksey, you the did, gate. You you did a great job, but no points <laughs> awarded. Let's get some day. extra credit on the board. We said no points. I love them, uh, before we go to break, I have more points on the line, so let's do it. Here's your question for this week. I'm going to ask one extra credit question, and you'll have 60 seconds to answer it. Ten points on the line. In 2021, what Nickelodeon show celebrated its 25th anniversary with the release of a viral video of the original host, Steve Burns, talking about going to college? Hey, do you know the answer? We'll have it for you as we get closer to finding out who wins it all. Are we, are we playing?
happening in unison right now. I'm feeling the vibe, feeling the vibe, yeah. feeling the vibe, feeling the vibe. All right, squad, that's how you get back into the show. Welcome to the classroom, students and teachers today. I love these people from Chester Charter Scholars Academy in Delco. Students, you're feeling good, you're in the lead. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, love that. Hey, teams, we got some extra credit on the line, so let's get to it. Here was your question. In 2021, what Nickelodeon show celebrated its 25th anniversary with the release of a viral video of the original host, Steve Burns, talking about going to college? One of my favorite shows growing up, but students, I'm nervous for you to see if you got it. Mr. Peeling, you're holding the board. What'd you say? You gotta say it. Blues, Blues Clues. Clues. Yeah, that gets you up to 60. Nicely done, guys. Students, what did you say? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Good guess, but incorrect. Hey, listen, you're in the lead right now. What happens if you win the cash? We're going to donate it to our school. Nice. Donate it to the school. Put it right back in there. Mm -hmm. Good luck, guys. I hope you win it. Teachers, how about you? Uh, we're going to donate it. I'm going to take all the cash and <laughs> donate it to my own comedy class. Uh, we need props. We need uh, all kind of improv stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Todd. You're yeah. pretty funny all on yourself. I don't know if you need any more props. <laughs> probably so. Probably so. The students need it. The students need there it. There you go. Hey, yeah. listen. Good luck, everybody. But jump on board because I'm taking you on a field trip. Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. Okay, here we go. We're headed to the Philadelphia Auto Show with Jen Frederick. And question number one is coming at you. Hey guys, I am here at the Philadelphia Auto Show inside the Philadelphia Convention Center. So here's your first question. Which Michigan city is named Motor City because of its rich automotive history? First one in Mr. Peeling. Detroit. Detroit is right. Get you up to 70 points. Let's see question number two. While you are here, you can obviously check out some iconic vehicles from movies and TV shows like that one right there, the Hawkins Power and Light Van from Stranger Things. That leads us to question two. After being featured in season four of Stranger Things, there was a resurgence of the 1985 Running Up That Hill by what artist? Story. Kate Bush. Kate Bush is right, which guarantees you the lead going into the final exam. That was huge. Question three, let's wrap it up. Hey guys, this is your last question from this field trip. So let's give you a little question. While on the road, there are many things you have to watch out for. So let's give you a little driving test. What is the two word term for the areas around the vehicle that can't be seen in mirrors or cameras. Mr. Todd. Blind sight. Story. Blind spot. Blind spot is right. Yeah, and yeah, that's the round. There it was. Hey, score students are leading. Final exam starts now. Here we go. The topic of today's final exam is state of the art, which means all the questions have something to do with the arts. Three questions, 100 points each, 60 seconds during the break. Here are your questions. We start with this. What is the term for the art of decorative handwriting produced with a pen, ink brush, or other writing instrument? Question two. Joey King stars as Tessa, an aspiring photographer who attempts to reconnect with her late boyfriend in what 2022 Paramount Plus movie? Finally, in musical notation, the treble clef is also known as the G clef. What is the name? What is another name for the F clef? There you go. Three questions, 60 seconds on the clock. Who aces this final exam and ranks first right here in the classroom? Find out. Mark Zuboff, we're coming.
coming in for a landing. Welcome back into the classroom. Students, teachers today from Chester Charter Scholars Academy. Three questions in the final exam, 100 points each. And here is your first question. What is the term for the art of decorative handwriting produced with a pen, ink, brush, or other writing instrument? Teachers, Mrs. Kirksey, what'd you say? Calligraphy. Bam, get you up to 170 and the lead. Story, you buzzed in during the question. I think you knew the answer. Did you though? What'd you say? I said calligraphy. I am there. You didn't know the answer and you take the lead once again. Joey King stars as Tess, an aspiring photographer who attempts to reconnect with her late boyfriend in what 2022 Paramount Plus movie? Teachers, you said. Oh no. We don't know. We don't no know. answer there. Donovan, students. Again. The in-between, and we come down to this final question. In musical notation, the treble clef is also known as the G clef. What is another name for the F clef? Teachers, you have to get this right or the game is over. What did you say, Mr. Todd? I said confidently. Wow. Double clef. The answer is bass clef. Oh. Students, are your winners of the classroom? Yeah. Take it home, that buddy. Thanks to our sponsor and thanks to you guys being here. Students, teachers, get out here. We love you from right here at the classroom. What a win, Star A! If you are a principal or authorized school official and want teachers and students from your school to have a chance to compete for a prize on the classroom, go to theclassroom.com for more information. And watch The Classroom Wednesdays at 6.30 right here on Fox 29.